Hello, good day to all of you. My name is Blair and welcome to another OS operating system. Today I'm here at my desktop, which is a virtual boxes right now by Genome. This is not a virtual machine of the Oracle. So this one, I am now with my OS operating system, which is the Mega Linux Luna. Cool. I never expect to have this interface when I open and install the ISO file of the Mega Linux Luna and of course uh, some of you are were like asking me about how do I change the system display session with the plasma and the Wayland well right here on the bottom we have the options to use the X window 11 or the Wayland windows. So I have to choose from this one. So before I enter the operating system, I have to choose if you have some errors with Wayland, you can use always the X 11 windows. For me, I'll just use the old one, the X11. This is the old one. Now, haven't changed as much as like how many years already. So the Wayland is the new one, but of course we need to work things out because there is a lot of like uh, losing the display or couldn't capture or something. So that's a problem with the new version of the windowing of this Wayland but for now I'll use the X11 of course I have to enter my super secret password to enter and gain access all right so ooh, this is the dark version and I have the Nvidia yes I have the Nvidia GeForce GTX and it is installed already okay let's try to see okay let's try to see first the system settings I think it is in the dark mode yes in dark mode but you have to change the the display layout into color full yeah, there you have it that is the colorful version it's up to you if you want to change it or not that is the beauty of Linux you can do whatever you want so let's go to our do we have welcome page right here or welcome app let's just type in welcome no they don't have oh get no no this is welcome center okay let's try to go to the website first let's go to their website they are using the Brave browser for privacy okay full screen this one let's go to the mega luna mega luna linux so the website is reality inc llc.com that is their official website and of course they have the reality software reality soft which is the operating system of course we could like go right here and their product yes they have different types of product they have their own artificial intelligence they also have the RS maps they also have the translate and of course their established team in 2021 just after the COVID pandemic it is the Endeavor team to start this mega OS Luna. It is very stable operating system. It's even stable than Windows 10 and 11 or even Mac. Okay, let's go to the mega Linux. So they have all these information right here. Okay, let's click this one. Before you begin, to download and install Mega OS Linux Luna, ensure that your hardware met the system requirements, which is the 2 GHz dual processor or higher, the system firmware, 
is UFI or legacy capacity. It re only requires 2 gigabytes of random access memory. Internet, no required. The storage is just only 34 gigabytes or higher. The display requires 768 screen resolution so you have also the choices what version if you want to have the home pro the ultimate or the education and of course i just use the home for this demonstration the mega os linux luna is a modern and powerful operating system designed for both professional and personal use it is offering user-friendly interface advanced security feature and streamless performance so that is their information and then you just click this one to download and then after you download put it in into a bootable USB either you can use the Balena Etcher which is I recommend okay let's minimize this one Yes, I've been playing this in a while already. The desktop interface, it's kind of cool. You have the center start menu right here, or the launch pad, whatever you want to call it. You have the finder, or the search, or the launch. This is the Dolphin file manager. Of course, this is the Brave browser. They also have the store, or the reality soft store this is the their ai the maps translate and of course the wine which is you can download any windows application on the right bottom you have the notification area the time and date and all those stuff right there and of course this is the desktop wallpaper so you can right click onto that one and change and then change your wallpaper you could use the circles flower the original mega os you also have the mountains ribbon seasons shapes threads waves the original which is right now current original or the dynamic this is the original when they started this is the current dynamic and original for this particular version of 2024 okay that is their wallpaper and desktop user interface how about the application let's try to look into the application so it has the I think this is the some sort of opacity settings when we open this one open the Brave browser plus the start menu launch pad you can see the background that's the opacity so the development right here on their category they have the Android which is you can use that one graphics of course your drawing apps your internet of course you have the brave browser and then if you want to connect your mobile phone by the KDE connect you also have the multimedia the cheese for your camera your VLC media player and of course your Haruna media player they have the two media player you can choose whatever you want this is Linux and then you have the office which is mimicking the the logo of Excel <laughs> but in writer now they have their original the PowerPoint logo too but the math they have their own ocular for your PDF file viewer calendar and of course all of your library office suite then we have the math well we only have the math settings all the settings for your volume control the tablet finder text editor settings 
system settings, software update, and firewall. And we have the system right here, the Dolphin File Manager, KDE Partition Manager, uh, Menu Editor, if you want to change the menu, your software app store. If you want to report some problems, they could like fix it as soon as possible. System Monitor, the System Profiler and Benchmarking, and the Terminal. Next, we have the utility, which is the arc, calculator, clock, connection, emoji, frameware, mouse pad, notes, onboard keyboards, of course, the wine for your apps from Windows that could run right here in Linux. Yes, they could. The GUI, snap per. The spectacle for your screenshots. And of course, the wine trick if you are using Windows. The screenshot, of course, you just click that one and then they have the screenshot. That is an example. You could like change it, like uh, manually save it. You can set it configuration. When you click it, take the screenshot, copy, don't copy, or just save it automatically. In your save, you have where is your location of your save. The shortcut key is over there. So let's close that one. And of course, you have also the lost and found, which is the translate maps and the AI of the Mega OS Linux Luna. And you have the help. So those are their application. Let's try to look into the App Center, the Reality Soft Mega Linux OS Luna. They are using the genome. You can click to explore. They're also there installed, which is first time to open this one. So it will take a little bit longer all those software it's already installed right here if you want to explore just click right here they have the android studio if you want to compile make your own software python yes and if you want to just develop right here developer mode developer apps it's all here it will take time. This is the first time, as I said, first time to open this one. Okay, let's go back. And if you can't find your apps, just go right here in the search button. And then, for example, I'm looking for Caden Live. Then it will be popping up the nonlinear video editor. And then you have the option right here. If you have the deb, Okay, let me see. How about this one? We have two options right here. Yes. Oh, this is the Mega Linux Snap. Okay, this is what they recommend. They also have the beta right here, but I think this is much better like to install. This is verified KDE, so it is safe. Just click install if you want to install it. Of course, I think I have to demonstrate that in the next video. How about my remarks right here? So my remarks in this particular operating system, it's a little bit easy. No problem with navigation. Of course, it will be distracting to you if you are brand new right here because the settings of this particular operating system is that your kind of like the old type this is a modern operating system that you could like change whatever you want so i think that is the problem with some of the users if you are so not so keen to change some application but if you are really like into desktop this is awesome this is way much better like better like others 
the aesthetics is very cool you can change whatever you want um, I have no problems with this one easy to install yes but the interface of the desktop it's more like a Windows you can also change your edit right here you can change this one too you can also edit the menu right here you can also change the drawer like the icon right here you can change this one choose you can whatever you want you could always like mimic the windows if you wanted to like that one it will be like windows but of course if you want to change back to its original you can always do that okay and then you can also change the opacity of the background if you are distracted like if you want to have like 95 like when I open this one like apply that one we only have like the 85 or maybe the 90 90 is much like clearer right how about 95 see it is much more better okay so yes this is so easy the learning curve is so easy it's normal it is not too hard if you are using already the Chrome OS or the Unix Mac OS or any tablets or even the Samsung DeX desktop environment you'll be familiarized with this one it was so easy for me especially if you are like really having the uh, modern technology it is much easier for you to transfer and change into the Linux operating system so that's it for now for our operating system this is the Mega Luna Linux operating system Catch another episode of OS next time. I'm Blair, your science, computer, and mathematics teacher. Bye for now and see you in the next episode. If you have some questions, feel free to ask me right in the comments down below. And remember that science means knowing. That is why science is cool. Bye for now and see you in the next episode. Ciao. Then how to shut down? Just click. And then you have the option sleep, restart, log out, or shut down. Let's just click shut down. Shut down.